Congratulations on your purchase of a Tony Little Gazelle. This video should help make assembling your Gazelle fitness machine as easy as possible. After you're done, be sure to stay tuned for some helpful hints on how to get the most out of your new Gazelle. Before you begin, note that some of the parts have been pre-lubricated at the factory. We suggest that you protect any flooring and clothing before starting the assembly. Once you're ready, lay the two frame assemblies and the swing arm assemblies on the floor. Make sure the curved rear frame is placed on top, facing upward, and that the cables are above all the frame tubes. Be careful not to get the cables tangled up with the swing arms or the frame tubing. Remove the four preset bolts and spring washers from the bottom of the frame assembly. Two are on the rear frame and two are on the underside. Keep these handy. Identify the left and right wheels. Slide the left and right wheels onto the rear frame, line up holes, and insert the screws. If you purchase the Gazelle Edge, your unit does not come equipped with wheels. Locate the swing arms and make sure that the nylon bushings are completely inserted into each arm. Grab the axle tube in the middle and slide the swing arms onto each side. Put the axle tube into the frame. Connect the two sides of the bottom frame assemblies together at the same time. Place bolts, flat washers, and spring washers into each axle end. Hand tighten. Using the bolts and washers you remove from the bottom frames, insert them into the pre-drilled holes. Hand tighten. Standing to one side of the unit, grasp the axle tube and outer frame. Lift the gazelle upright. Be aware that the foot platforms may drop down as you pick the unit up. Open the gazelle. Be sure the cables hang straight, allowing the cables and swing arms to move freely. At this time, it is important to level your gazelle. Standing behind the machine, grab the rear handholds. Place your right foot onto the right foot platform. Apply pressure. Remove your foot and repeat with the left foot. Moving back to the front of the machine, make sure that the center screw in the axle tube is positioned at the top of the unit. This will help for proper alignment of the electronics. Using the wrenches provided, tighten the axle tube bolts. For best results, use both wrenches simultaneously to tighten these bolts. If after you tighten the axle tube, you notice any gaps between the frame and the axle tube, place the spare C washers between the swing arm and the main frame. This will help minimize any lateral play. Now use the wrench to tighten each of the four bolts placed on the bottom frame assembly. To assemble the handlebars, you need to remove the bolts and washers from the handlebars. Slide the left and right handlebars into the swing arms, making sure the electronics wires face towards the center of the unit. Notice that if you purchased a Gazelle Edge or the Gazelle Freestyle, you do not have wires connected to your handlebars. Line up holes and insert washers and bolts. Tighten with the wrench provided.
If you purchase the Gazelle Freestyle Elite or the Gazelle Freestyle, your unit comes with a water bottle holder. The water bottle plate is attached to the left side of the frame. Remove it by unscrewing the bolt. Place the water bottle holder onto the plate and insert the screw. Attach to frame and tighten. The water bottle holder can be installed on either side of the frame assembly. Pick the side that works best for you. Each Gazelle comes complete with an electronics package. They do differ slightly from unit to unit. The following instructions apply to the Gazelle Freestyle Elite. Making sure that the magnets face inward toward the center of the machine, snap the magnet cluster over the axle tube. Gently rotate it until you feel it click into place. The electronic housing is shipped in one piece. Push the release tab and separate the two halves of the computer. Install two AAA batteries in the top of the computer housing. Make sure to connect the positive end of the battery with the positive connection in the housing. Connect the electronics plug from the bottom to the inside of the housing top. Place the bottom half of the computer housing underneath the axle tube. Feed the raised plastic tab into the hole in the center of the bar. Align the top half of the housing with the bottom half and snap them together. Be careful not to accidentally pinch or cut the electronics wires when snapping the housing together. Connect the wires from the handlebars with the wires from both sides of the electronics. Any excess wire may be pushed back into the electronics housing. Clip the wire holders on the top of the swing arm to hold any loose wires in place. Your electronics are now properly assembled. The following instructions relate to the electronic package provided with the Gazelle Edge and the Gazelle Freestyle. Making sure that the magnets face inwards toward the center of the machine, snap the magnet cluster over the axle tube. Gently rotate it until you feel it click into place. The electronic housing is shipped in one piece. Push the release tabs and separate the two halves of the computer. Install one AAA battery in the top of the computer housing. Make sure to connect the positive end of the battery with the positive connection in the housing. Place the bottom half of the computer housing underneath the axle tube. Feed the raised plastic tab into the hole in the center of the bar. Align the top half of the housing with the bottom half and snap them together. Your electronics are now properly assembled. If at any time your display screen cannot be easily read when using the unit, you can adjust it by loosening the bolts at both ends of the axle tube. Reposition the computer and retighten the bolts. If you purchase the Gazelle Freestyle Elite, your Gazelle includes two power pistons for even more strengthening and toning results. To attach the pistons to your machine, follow these simple instructions. Attach a mounting bracket to the outside edge of the right foot tubing using two bolts, two washers, and two nylon locking nuts. Making sure you have the piston marked R for right, attach the piston to the right swing arms using an Allen bolt, spring, two washers, and a barrel nut. Pay attention that the piston pin is facing towards the arm. Fold the foot platform up and pull down on the hydraulics. This will allow the pin to pass through the front resistance hole on the mounting bracket. Push the foot platform back into position and insert the cutter pin to secure the power piston in place. Repeat these steps to install the left power piston. Your pistons have three levels of resistance and a storage position. For complete directions on how to get the most out of your power pistons, consult your owner's manual. Your Tony Little Gazelle is now fully assembled. Stay tuned for some helpful hints. From time to time, 
you may notice some squeaking as you use your gazelle. This noise is the result of normal use and does not indicate a performance problem with the machine. Follow these simple steps to help minimize this noise. First, identify the source of the noise. There are four main places to check. At the main intersection of the tubing, at the axle tube area, at the top cable connection, and if you own the Gazelle Freestyle Elite, at the power piston bolt. If your Gazelle squeaks at the main intersection of tubing, coat a cotton swab with petroleum jelly. With the lubricated end of the cotton swab, thoroughly coat all areas of the X bolts. Be sure to get as much of the jelly into the cracks as possible. If the axle tube area is found to be the source of noise, check to make sure that the bushings on the swing arms are turning with the swing arm. If they're not, you will need to contact our customer service department for a set of new swing arms. If the bushing is turning, it is normal. To reduce the squeaking, try lubricating the axle tube. You'll need to remove the axle tube and lubricate it with a lithium grease or household petroleum jelly. If the noise is found at the top cable connection, call the 1-800 number at the bottom of your screen and speak with a Fitness Quest customer service representative for further information. If you own the Gazelle Freestyle Elite and it is squeaking at the power piston bolt, slightly loosen the bolt and lubricate it with petroleum jelly. If you've been unable to identify the source of your machine squeaking, it may be because your machine is not entirely level to the floor. Loosen the bolts at the axle tube and the bottom frame. Be careful not to completely disassemble the machine. Standing behind the machine and grasping the rear hand holds, place your right foot onto the right foot platform. Apply pressure. Remove your foot and repeat with the left foot. With the machine still in an upright position, tighten the bolts at the bottom of the frame and then tighten the bolts at the axle tube. This simple adjustment should level your unit and minimize noise. If you hear a clicking sound as you exercise on your gazelle, check that the screws on the bottom of the foot platforms are tight. Sometimes the wheels in the front of the platforms cause the clicking noise. This noise is normal. Each tony little gazelle comes complete with a fitness computer. These handy electronics hints will help you get the most out of your gazelle. If for any reason you're having trouble with your electronics, the first step is to remove them from the axle bar. Once you have done this, check all of the wiring inside the housing and make sure that it is free from any cuts or pinches. If your unit has the hand pulse feature, check the wires leading from the hand grips as well. If you find any cut wires, call customer service at the number on the bottom of the screen. Next, check your battery installation. Make sure that your battery is properly installed with the positive end of the batteries connecting to the housing post. It may also be a good idea to replace your batteries at this time. Dead or weakened batteries will greatly affect the unit. Next, Check that the magnet cluster is properly affixed to the unit. The cluster should fit snug and lock into place on the axle tube. Also note that the magnets are facing the center of the unit. If they're facing the outside of the unit, unsnap them from the axle and reinstall. Check to make sure that there is not a gap between the axle tube and the left swing arm. If a space exists, make sure you install the extra C spacers provided with your unit according to the assembly instructions. Before returning the monitor to the unit, check that the screw on the top of the axle bar is facing up. If it is not, loosen the axle bolts until the spacer can be turned by hand. Face the screw upward and then tighten the axle bolts. It is very important that these bolts are tightened. If they're not tightened, they will cause the housing to move back and forth during use and could damage your electronics. Reattach the housing to the unit making sure that the magnet cluster is in its proper place. 
place the bottom half of the computer housing underneath the axle tube. Feed the raised plastic tab into the hole in the center of the bar. Align the top half of the housing with the bottom half and snap them together. Be careful not to pinch or cut the wires as you snap the housing together. If necessary, connect the pulse wires. If after following these steps you are still having trouble with the electronics, consult your owner's manual to ensure that you are using them properly. If after consulting your owner's manual you are still experiencing difficulty, contact customer service by calling the number on the bottom of your screen.